It's not that you just run, run, experiment, you have an aha moment, and then you make millions of dollars. <laughs> I've never worked with a team, by the way, that's ever experienced that. I help companies test business ideas. It's usually a journey, and it might take you 12 weeks of going through all of this to even get to a point where you feel like, okay, we have something. Usually when companies bring me in, there's this, uh, this quote of, well, we wish we brought you in years ago. Usually they felt the pain of building something that nobody wanted and spending a lot of time and resources and money doing so. And so what they want to do is prevent that from happening again. I grew up in startups and one was successful, the other two were not successful. And I started to see some patterns emerge from when we weren't successful and it was ignoring the customer's problems, building stuff because we thought it was fun to build. And it got to the point where I felt like, you know, I think I can do this with my own spin on it. And so it wasn't an ideal time. It was over holiday break, didn't have a pipeline of clients, had to borrow from my retirement to get the business off the ground. Then I worked through Christmas, you know, doing retail experimentation for a large company and then found another client and then another client. And then you fast forward till today and I have all these stories from some of the biggest companies in the world that I've helped, you know, go test their ideas. I have a three-step process. Step one is extracting your assumptions. So desirability assumptions, viability assumptions, feasibility assumptions in the idea that you have. Step two is mapping those assumptions. So we map those assumptions and then we focus on the things that are most important where you have the least amount of evidence. And then step three is running experiments. So we run experiments to address those riskiest assumptions you have, and then we feed that back into the process. I think my superpower is being able to extract what people are worried about and frame it up, and then give them options of how to go experiment and de-risk it. And so I have this knack for being able to explain things that are very complex and unpack them in a simple way where people can put them into action and then kind of coach them and be their mentor through that process. If you have an idea and you're not really sure whether you should invest in it or not, then let's have a conversation. We can start talking about your risk, mapping it out, looking at what experiments we could run to reduce the risk in that and to make an informed investment decision on whether or not you should go forward with that pivot it or potentially kill it. And it's gonna be fun, you're gonna learn about the process and you might save a little bit of money. <laughs>